This is Twit. So um, we've many times discussed the fallout, the really amazing fallout from the Infineon crypto library, which was found, which is used in embedded devices and found to be producing factorable private keys, which should be an oxymoron. That's, I mean, they're, they're, <laughs> the whole point is that you cannot factor a private key, which is where is the way this cool technology hides the the public key within the private key by by multiplying these two primes, and you don't know how to pull them apart again. Um, so Estonia, which was very forward looking, uh, we talked about a couple of weeks ago, had quote only issued. 760,000 Infineon based identity cards uh, turns out to be uh, one of the smaller players. Get this Spain has issued 60 million of these cards. <laughs> 60 million now completely useless and vulnerable identity smart cards. And and remember that here's the problem is that they've issued them and they weren't very popular. I think I saw 0.02% of them were getting any use. So, but the problem with something like this is that once they cannot be trusted, no one can use them. You know, even though they're in very low and low common usage. Now that any of them can be attacked, because that's what this means, the private key generated by the cards can be factored. And now we, and the price to do that, as we have also since discussed, keeps coming down. Now it's about two grand and a few hours in order to perform this factorization. That means that, that if any card can be attacked, then none of the security assertions made by any card can be trusted. Therefore, all 60 million are useless for their intended purpose, which in any given instance is that this card is producing an assertion that cannot be spoofed, cannot be later, uh, you know, e either created or broken and we now know that's no longer the case. So yes, 60 million for Spain. And boy, I don't know what kind of pain Infineon is in, what what the contracts look like and, and so forth. But this has been a big disaster. And if nothing else, we, we need, you know, better oversight. The problem with that we that we have is that that you know, for example, Spain purchased 60 million cards without requiring a third party security review of the technology. Infineon would have balked, but so Spain could say, you want the contract or not? You're asking us to pay you a chunk of money. We're happy to do that. We want your product, but we're not taking your word for it. We need you to put some academic researcher under NDA and examine your technology and verify independently that that we should trust you. Um, that's the kind of thing that isn't happening yet because companies are still allowed to say, trust us, we're Infineon. 